Hey guys, the objective for this video is just to discuss how the shear force is going to be distributed into our building. So in the previous video, we found the base shear and the shear on each floor, and we specifically found it on level one. Now we're going to be talking about how that value of shear, that shear force we found, is put into our structure. It's put in, firstly, and primarily through lateral, laterally, okay? And this is always the case. We always get the shear force put in laterally. But what can sometimes happen, secondary, is through torsion. Now, this occurs only when the center of mass is not at the same place as the center of rigidity. We're going to be talking about what those terms mean later, but just to know now from the outset that you're always going to get it put in laterally, but sometimes you might additionally have torsion. So you could have two modes how the shear force is put into the structure. Always you're going to have lateral, you might have torsion as well. We're going to be talking about this a little bit later. Now, primary laterally. So we have our structure like this. Here's the shear force, the distribution of shear force, and this is causing some type of displacement X in our structure. Now we need to ask, what resists displacement? So what's resisting deformation of this structure from that stage to that stage? And the answer is the stiffness of the columns. So we just have the simple formula, Hooke's law, F equals KX. So the amount that this is going to displace is going to depend on the stiffness of the columns. And that's how much force is going to be going into the columns. Now, the next question we need to ask is, what is the stiffness of the column? Okay, so what is the stiffness of the column? Or in other words, what resists displacements of the column or deformation of the column? So we've said that what causes the overall structure, the resistance of the overall structure is these vertical members, the columns, which makes sense. But what's actually causing the columns or what is the stiffness of these columns dependent on? Now, if we look at a plan view of our structure, so our structure is looking something like this we're going to be looking along grid line two. So what's going to happen is we're going to get this shear force coming along like this, along grid line two. And you can see that we've got column, 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 beam, beam, beam. Now, what's stopping this column moving across is this beam here. That beam is preventing the column moving that direction. This column here, same thing. These two beams either side are preventing the column moving left and right. Okay, so it's actually